Today I'm going to share how I color grade C-Log or Canon Log footage from my Canon EOS R camera that's captured in 10-bit in the Atomos Ninja 5. You're a beautiful person and you're a good person and if no one has told you that today, let me be the first one to tell you that. Alright, let's go. Before I get started, please take a minute to subscribe. If it's your first time here, please click subscribe. If you've come back before and you're not yet subscribed, please subscribe. I love hearing from you. I love that you chime in and give me your feedback and share things that you're learning or ask questions. I really look forward to engaging you with you in the comments, learning from you, hearing how you approach your photography and videography and cinematography. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Uh, click the like button if you get anything out of this video. And I appreciate you and we're all here on the learning journey. Uh, thanks for joining in today. Some simple steps to color grade Canon Log or C-Log footage. I've got mine out of the Canon EOS R, uh, captured with the Atomos Ninja 5. And I have a workflow that I'm pretty happy with, so I want to share that with you. All right, one last thing before we really dig in, and that's I thought it'd be helpful to set this video up into two parts. One, where I just talk through in one minute or less the steps I use to color grade the C-Log. And two, a screen recording walking you through and showing you the steps with more explanation. Hopefully that helps. Hopefully that's user friendly. If you want to see it in one minute or less and that's all you need, then just watch that first part and take off after that. Or if you want to stick around and see more, then uh, you have a more detailed approach. Let me know if you like this approach in the comments. First, apply an adjustment layer on top of your ungraded footage. Then add a LUT loader effect to that adjustment layer. Next, you're going to browse in the LUT loader effect to add EOS R C log to Rec 709, and your phase one is complete. You should see a big jump in punch and clarity and contrast in that footage. Now you're gonna add another adjustment layer on top of the first one. You're gonna add the LUT loader effect to that layer. And then you're gonna browse and add your desired LUT. Maybe you purchased LUTs or you found some free LUTs and you're gonna reduce the mix down to 20 to 50% according to your taste. Or navigate to the color board area for that adjustment layer and activate the color curves tool and draw a nice S curve to get the color effect that you want for your color grading. Now that is a mouthful and it sounds like maybe I know what I'm doing, but trust me, it's a learning process. I have the Canon EOS R back here on the Ronin S. I want to share how the Atomos Ninja 5 and the Canon EOS R give me C-Log footage that I can color grade and I want to show you the simple steps that I use to do that. Well, I say they're simple now, but when I first started this process, I didn't know how to do it. It seemed complicated. Actually, it seemed impossible. So I want to encourage you to keep learning, keep trying. I'm happy with the results and maybe you're going to give me some tips in the comments about how to do it even better and I appreciate that. All right, so there are three foundational setup steps that I don't want to ignore. Uh, first, I set the, the output of the Canon EOS R for 10-bit external recording to the Anamos Ninja 5 and there's a good video that I use to find out those settings, so I'll link that below. Second, I set up all the settings on the Anamos Ninja 5 for proper capture of the footage and there's another good video that I use to do that. And third, you got to go out and capture the footage. In this case, the test footage I captured, it's for the short documentary I'm working on about the local photographer, Adan Olivares. And in part of it, he talks about the jacaranda trees in Santa Ana. So I wanted to get some footage of that. And then I threw in some other footage I gathered around downtown Santa Ana. And there's going to be a voiceover for this, of course, for the full documentary. But here I just wanted to highlight the difference between the ungraded C-Log and the color graded C-Log uh, or Canon Log. All right, so, um, so fourth, and here's where we get to the main part, the steps I used in color grading uh, the C-Log. And for the record, I didn't learn this on my own. I used uh, Carlos Quintero's YouTube channel. He's got a great video on that. I'll link that below. And he's got some resources that were really helpful, so I'll link those below. Uh, so first, step one is importing your footage. And so when I go to import, I go to the Ninja. So you can see this. You can see the ungraded um, clips here uh, in my uh, hard drive. I use the Sony Atom X SSD or uh, solid state drive to capture the 10 bit footage that I'm recording externally. Um, so you import that and just 
Keep in mind, um, when you do that, you want to check right here, create proxy media. That's really important because it allows you to use lightweight files in your editing. It saves you time. Um, and the other thing is just keep in mind that 4K footage is going to take a while to import. So that's step one. And then you set up a new project. In your new project, you want to have the proper settings. So you want to make sure bringing in 4K footage, you have a 4K project set up. That's important. That's step two. Then you're going to drag the sequence of clips into your timeline. Okay, so this is really important. So we're not color grading first, we're uh, setting up a sequence to tell a story. And so here I have jacaranda trees and then some downtown Santa Ana footage. And then you wanna establish your visual story first. So the next thing I do is I put in an adjustment layer and I got this from Ryan Nangle who's got some really, really helpful Final Cut uh, editing tips. And so that goes under your titles tab as an adjustment layer right here. Um, you can see adjustment layer, long, medium, short. I just drag the long one on there. And so what I do with that is instead of applying effects to the clips themselves, I put the adjustment layer over the top and I apply the effects to that. Now, why is that helpful? One is you can hit V uh, and that will deactivate your adjustment layers and you can see the original footage in, uh, in one click. If you have to do that for every clip that you're working on, it becomes kind of a pain. And then now you can also use the adjustment layer to combine multiple effects. Um, so you want to download the adjustment layer. Um, it's a title. It goes into your um, into your title panel and I'll, I'll link to Ryan Nangle's video. It's super helpful and the link to download that adjustment layer uh, is uh, below. And also you want to download a custom LUT plugin and this allows you if you go over here and you type in LUT, you see I have two. I have one F FCPX Final Cut um, Pro 10 and this is from Pixel Film Studios and I also have a custom LUT one which I think is free and I actually prefer it and the reason I prefer that one is because when you go up to the inspect inspector tab the custom LUT loader actually shows you the name of the LUT and I'll show you here the difference is if you show the the one from Pixel Film Studio you choose it let's see I'll just choose that one um, but there's the name doesn't show up at all so that's not even that helpful because I can't tell what changes I've made um, so I don't use that one I use this custom LUT one I'll try to get a link for where to find that and then the f uh, next step is you use the custom LUT plugin interface to find the LUT that you're gonna apply so you click here and then you can see I have a history here of trying these these LUTs, but if you go to the choose, you'll be able to navigate. Now I put my LUTs in a folder in my movies uh, folder. Uh, it's a folder called LUTs. And I open that. And here I have the one from Carlos Quintero um, that is basically grading the C-Log back to kind of normal. Um, I tend to like the Alexa one. It's got a little more contrast and a little more punch. So I've been using that. Um, but then the other ones, I have some Super 64s. Uh, it's, uh, I'll put the link to where I bought those from. Um, and then I have been just trying out all these versions in there. Um, and so what I do is actually, I put in the basic LUT to grade the footage from um, C log to kind of ground zero or your starting point where your contrast and your saturation is kind of at a workable point. And then I put another adjustment layer on top of it, add the custom LUT plugin, and then search for another LUT that I want to add. So I have put in um, a LUT called Eastern. And now I always kind of reduce it because if you see it full strength, it's kind of over overpowering. But this gives it a nice warm tone. So I have that at about uh, 20 percent or so and then you can toggle on and off using V just to see the difference uh, for the regular Canon log back to REC 709 which is kind of a baseline and then with the warm LUT applied on top and that's how I do it and this is what it looks like when you play it back so here we have the ungraded footage and this is a street in Santa Ana and I just want to establish some of these shots of the trees I'll probably reduce some of the grass and the sidewalk uh, in the final documentary um, and then I go to some footage of downtown Santa Ana just you know, there's kind of a suburban side and more of an urban side um, and that's the only clip that I altered it was sped up a little bit and so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna see these again with the color grading with a little bit of sound effects and with a little music and here we go